everyone. We're here today to uh, restore that old rusty trap that I found in the woods from a few weeks ago. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out uh, the story behind me finding this trap, uh, check it out in the video uh, list on my channel below. So today what I need is a few things to help uh, do this project. We're going to remove the rust with uh, a method called electrolysis. Uh, so we use electricity to remove the rust, in this case from the trap onto a sacrificial piece of steel. Um, this is a good technique to use if you've got rusty tools in your garage uh, that you want to give a second life to. Um, so what you'll need are a few items. You'll need to get a, a five gallon pail, some water, the, the rusty steel, something made out of iron, you want to grab that. You need a sacrificial piece of steel that is, does not have any coating on it, so you don't want to get galvanized steel and you do not uh, want stainless steel. Um, you'll need, you know, either a power source of some sort, so that's why I'm using a, uh, a 12 volt battery. Of course, this is really dangerous, so you need to, uh, you know, don't try this at home. If you do, it's totally at your own risk. How it works is basically you're setting up an electrical current um, that goes between uh, the negative and the positive. The negative terminal will be the rusty item of steel that you have. The positive terminal will be a sacrificial piece of steel, whether it be a brake rotor. I'm just using a piece of steel rebar today. Uh, and when you put current from the battery or your power source um, through those items, you complete the circuit and uh, it's going to be bathed in an electrolyte solution. So in the water, you're going to have um, soda ash, which is also called washing soda. Uh, I will show you how to make your own uh, at home in this video. You can also buy it, uh, Arm & Hammer sells a washing soda product uh, you know, at the grocery store or online. Pool stores also market it under soda ash. So the you know, items like the steel and the, the rusty trap are going to be in an electrolyte solution of water and the soda ash. And uh, basically electricity passes through that, goes between the two uh, poles and the rust will basically come off of the trap and go on to the sacrificial piece of steel. It's going to take many hours, so you want to be prepared for your setup, your experiment, uh, to be running 12 plus hours overnight, at least. That's what I'm going to be doing in this case. Um, and in the morning, we'll take a look at it, and essentially the rust should be removed from the trap. Uh, any little bits that are left over, we will sand off. All right, so we'll get started. I'll show you what you need to do this project. So as you can see, I've got it hooked up to a, a battery for a power source and I've got the jumper cables going to the pail. Traps down there, the negative anode. So the negative is hooked up to the trap and the positive is hooked up to the sacrificial piece of steel. This is really dangerous, so uh, don't try this at home, kids. So we'll basically leave this for several hours. We'll actually probably leave this overnight just to get the rust off. And uh, eventually it'll just kind of look like a soup of rust. So we'll take several hours. And then we'll take the trap out, use a bit of emery cloth to clean it up and then we'll wax it. So we'll just let this do its thing. Well, here we are about 15 hours later and as you can see, it's really a soup of rust in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the power supply and then I'm going to remove the trap and we'll see what it looks like. As you can see, a lot of the rust has come off. There's just a little bit uh, on the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wire brush to this and, uh, you know, a little bit of a, of a sponge or um, an emery cloth and uh, just try to get off some of the rest of the surface rust. You can see if I move them with my finger, it's a bunch of stuff's uh, already coming off of my hand. All right, cool. This worked really well. So as you can see, I've just gone over it with a, um, a wire brush. It's really looking good. It's coming along well. Uh, majority of the rust has been removed um, just by 14 or 15 hours in the electrolyte bath. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more um, and I'll probably stick it back in for several more hours just because there's a little bit of rust left um, to come off. But I just want to show you uh, what a good job the electrolysis process does to restore 
um, rusted steel. I'm just going to kind of clean the surface rust now off the track with a, a wire, a wire brush. I've also got some abrasive cloth and uh, some 60 grit sandpaper there. So I'm just going to wait at it for a while here. So now that uh, I've taken the trap out of the uh, electrolyte electrolysis bath, um, you can see it actually looks quite good. Um, I worked away at it with a wire brush, um, you know, some steel wool, um, as well as the uh, you know the abrasive pad there to try to get off any of the remaining surface rust. Did a pretty good job. I mean, there's some areas where there's you know difficult to get off the little bits of rust, but I mean, I think it's actually um, looking pretty good. I'll just show you guys right there. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with how uh, good this trap has come along in terms of its restoration. So uh, the next step is to wax it um, to further preserve it and sort of repel moisture um, so it doesn't rust up again while it's on display. Um, so what I'm going to use, it's called this Minwax uh, Finishing Wax. And I got that from uh, you know, a local you know, hardware store or even like Home Depot. Um, what I'm gonna do is just sort of open it up here. It is kind of smelly, so you wanna work, there's a bit of ventilation, um, and you should wear you know, gloves when you're handling the stuff, because it's not that good for you. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of it on, uh, just a little bit of this uh, sort of cloth right here. You can put a, kind of put a little ball of it in, some cheesecloth, and just rub it along um, you know, your tools, or in this case, this antique uh, trap here, just to preserve preserve it and repel moisture. So I'm just going to take a, a little bit of it here and uh, it's quite slippery. I'm just going to put a little bit of it on this cloth and kind of rub it in. And then kind of just slowly work my way around here. It really stinks. <laughs> getting into all the nooks and crannies. You can tell it's going on well when it's nice and slippery. And I found it hard to get the rust off the chain and then the wire, uh, but it did come off quite well from the actual trap itself. Always load up a little more if you're running a bit low, but you don't really need a lot of this to achieve our goal today. I'm going to get it on the little dog here and uh, right on the pan. On this part, you can really see where the rust had actually chewed away at the steel. There's actually grooves uh, in the steel. There you go, it's pretty good. You feel all the places you've gone because they feel you know, waxy, obviously, and slippery. I'm gonna just put a little bit on the chain as well. Like I said, a lot of the rust uh, you know, it came off the chain, but not as much as I hoped, but it's really hard 
to brush the rest of the surface rust off um, because it's uh, so many little nooks and crannies. of that uh, trap that I found in the woods got most of the rust off of it and uh, waxed it um, so now it can be sort of uh, you know put in a, a cabinet or hung on the wall uh, for display well that's the video for today guys uh, you know if you liked it give me a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe have a good week